What you can see here is uh, one of the best part of Göteborg. It's from the sea. Göteborg is very, the sea has always been very important for Göteborg. In the old times, you have all the boats, buildings there and coming to get repaired. And of course, we have a lot of fishermen catching uh, shellfish and fish. So the sea is very important in, in Göteborg. Uh, Göteborg is lying on the west coast of Sweden. Uh, when I leave Göteborg yesterday, it was one degree warm or cold. I don't know what you want to, to use. And when I come here with my jacket, and I have 27 degrees when I arrived. So we have very strictly spring, summer, fall, and winter in, in Sweden. And I think that is the best way to get good ingredients, because everything grows very slowly up in Scandinavia. The fish has cold water a lot of the time, so we have the best fish and shellfish in the world, I think. And the mushrooms grow very slowly, and the berries grow slowly and have a lot of sugar in them. So we have a good, uh, good ingredients to work with because of the weather. It's not always funny when it's two degrees. Uh, Göteborg had a company called Göteborg & Company. That, that is a company who works for Göteborg to uh, see that we have a lot of people coming to Göteborg. The Göteborg Company, is, it's, uh, we take this first. Göteborg is up here because a lot of people think that uh, Switzerland and Sweden is the same thing. And I promise there's a lot of big difference between them. So up here is Göteborg and you see Barcelona a long way down. Uh, Göteborg is one part of Sweden and one part of Scandinavia and Northern. And it happens a lot of things with the food up in Scandinavia these days. Uh, we are in the beginning of our food city. Some years ago, Monsieur Paul Bocuse down in Lyon at the Bocuse d'Or, I think it was in 97, he said that the light is coming from Northern now. And it happens a lot of things up there with food. In the old times, the farmers and the producers wasn't any proud of what they're doing. It was a lot of uh, fabric products, uh, and they don't, were proud of what they're doing. The chefs in Sweden, Göteborg, and Scandinavia have been traveling a lot. They have been traveling all around all the world, to uh, Barcelona, to the US, to England, all over the world, and learn to cook. And then they come home, and they are a little bit more proud of the ingredients in Sweden. So they have no learn a new techniques, and new things to make food, and then they come back to Sweden and, and Scandinavia. And nowadays we have a real good Scandinavian cooking. So what is the mission for Göteborg Company? That is to promote and contribute the development of Göteborg as a tourist meeting and event destination. So they work for the town to get a lot of people coming that people who are going to have meetings, people who want to go uh, as a tourist, and a lot of, we want a lot of people coming to Göteborg, of course. So the business concept for Göteborg & Company shall, in an international comparison, be leading platform for cooperation and destination development. We try to have Göteborg as a place for all the people around the world to have meetings. We try now to make a platform for food, to make a week where we can have a lot of good chefs, producers coming to Göteborg and, and uh, show up the things they produce and what kind of cooking they do. Uh, and one part of the owner of this Göteborg company, 50% is owned by the, by the city and 50% is owned by the, the business in Göteborg. So the restaurant association is owner of 2% of the company. So it's a natural force to, to uh, work together. And the Yotobe company used the food as a strategic, strategic tool. So how do we work together? We have an uh, association called Yotobe Restaurant Association. It's uh, 35, 40 of the restaurants in Yotobe who have make a business together to help each other, to help the other part of uh, Göteborg company, the city, to, to make good food and uh, food experience when the people arrive to Göteborg. And that is very special that we have 35, 40 restaurants working together to find good ways and solutions to make Göteborg better as a food city. The other part is the lease, the network of good food cities of the world. That's quite new for us in Göteborg. I think we have been into this network for one and a half year. 
And it's very special because there is cities from all over the world, from Asia, from US, Barcelona, of course, Lyon, uh, Riga, Stavanger, Göteborg. It's a lot of cities from all over the world try to help each other and make good networking out of food. So the first results out of the Delis network. The first thing was Barcelona. Uh, the board of the Association of the Restaurants in Göteborg was here and meet Monsieur Casanovas. And he told us everything about Barcelona, how they have been so famous around in the world for the food. So we're going to make exactly the same thing in Göteborg now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's, it was a very interesting meeting here in Barcelona for us. And uh, Barcelona has always been uh, a, a place for trendy food. And a lot of the chefs in, in Sweden, Göteborg, and Scandinavia looks what happens with the food in Barcelona. Uh, we have... Uh, have a promotion activity with a chef in Göteborg. It was one guy coming to Stockholm and Göteborg and uh, was introduced to Barcelona food in Göteborg. And then we have the round table discussion today. It's uh, very funny and very nice to be a part of this, this, this discussion. Uh, some weeks ago we were in Riga. Uh, I was in a jury for, a jury for cooking and it was mostly uh, chefs from around in the eastern of Europe. It was very special to see what, what uh, kind of cooking they have there. And I think the winner was from Russia. Uh, then we have a meeting in Stavanger. There was a study tour. They have a real good food festival up in Stavanger, where all the restaurants and uh, all the producers are included in, in this festival. We have been in Lyon for closing activities. And we're going to be in Lyon, sorry, in, in this December, together with the Swedish government to uh, show for what, six days. We're going to have a Swedish menu in Lyon. So I'm going to be there for three days and one of my chef friends from another restaurant is going to be there for three more days. And we're going to make a Swedish uh, menu so the people in Lyon can try the new Scandinavian food. And we have to start a new education because uh, the Lease Network is also education. So we have start uh, education for the people who have been in the restaurant school for three, three years or have been working out in the restaurant for three years. So it's for young chefs to find a way to come and work in the better restaurants. So they start in school, and in the school they're going to learn about the ingredients, the techniques, they're going to meet the producers uh, of meat, vegetables and everything. And they're going to have one restaurant with a mentor, so they always have the practice at the same restaurant for one year. And hopefully they also are going to have the, the possibility to go outside Sweden and have practice. And we hope uh, the lease could be a good way to find good practice places. So the areas of co collaboration between uh, the city and the restaurants uh, the city helps us to, to make marketing for the restaurants. Of course, they want to have good food to marketing the, a good city. They help us with the PR campaigns. They make strategic events and uh, even cooperations together with us. So this is one thing. We have a real famous symphony orchestra in Göteborg. They're traveling around in the world. And sometimes when they're traveling around, they take the Swedish Göteborg food with them. So this is a picture of typically Swedish food, it's pickled herring. And the other guy, is a friend of mine, is Gustavo, is one of the most famous, uh, I don't know the English word, but... Yeah, conductor, thank you. Other things we do together to the, with the city is marketing. Uh, the one to the left, A Taste of Gothenburg, is made out as a cinema affiche with all the, the players, uh, actors. And that one in the middle is uh, one way to get people coming to Göteborg. Every Christmas we have, uh, the town goes to Christmas celebration with lamps and trees, Christmas trees. And uh, it's, it's, it, Göteborg is very beautiful in Christmas time. And that has been a good business both for the city and both for the restaurants. And that one to the right is uh, all, few of the chefs, in, in Göteborg, we make a campaign for people in Sweden coming to Göteborg. 
we do strategically events together. This is uh, one of the prize uh, givers in the Swedish Seafood Award. And that is an international award. We have uh, Mme uh, Picard from France get it, the prize last year. Uh, Monsieur, uh, the Japanese chef, oh. It's a lot of famous chefs around the world who get the prize. And also, people working with, with the, the Sea World have also a prize there. And the people working with the fish industry has an own prize. So we are very proud of this Swedish Seafood Award. And it grows every year. This year, I think it's going to be real big when, when the prize is in, in February. We have a competition in Sweden called Chef of the Year every year. And every third year, the, the final is in Göteborg. Um, myself was won this competition in 95, so it's many, many years since I won. But we have a, around 27 Chef of the Years in Sweden now. The oldest one is not cooking anymore, but we have always a new one coming. So the group is always quite big. Some years we have our meeting here in Barcelona. So Chef of the Year is, uh, is a competition where you send a free dish with recipe and picture into a jury. And out of that jury, they pick 24 people. And they cook the food for a jury. And out of that, they pick six people for the final. So the final is a quite big thing in Sweden. The, the, it send, they send it in the TV. It's around one million people looking at this competition on TV. And it's quite big for the person who won because they have a lot of help to introduce themselves for all the people in Sweden, and they make a lot of marketing for themselves. And in, in the first half of all this Chef of the Year was more than 70% from Göteborg, and that's funny, but it was in the old times, so we start to have it back to Göteborg now again. We have the uh, European Championship of Oysters opening. It's uh, quite funny because oysters is growing a lot of them in the sea in Sweden. And they always have uh, the world championship in Ireland every year. And I think we have two or three th Swedish chefs who have been winning that competition. And Irish people don't like it at all. <laughs> but that is one thing we try to have to Göteborg. That it happens a lot of things in Göteborg around food every all the time. This is event cooperation. This year we have the UEFA under 21 years championship. It was uh, the coming players from all over Europe. And here, all the restaurants together makes big areas with food, uh, Swedish food, Jotoboy food, and drink, of course, together for the people who can, not can have the seats at the arenas, can go here and see on the big screens, eating good food, drinking beer, wine, and have a real good time. So we have good weather sometimes in Jotoboy also. And this is another part of the same uh, event. But here is the people who decide where next European Championship of Football are going to be. And hopefully it be in Göteborg 2016. So this is one part of cooperations co uh, co between the city and the restaurants. So here's the best chefs working and make a real good dinner for the people who runs the UEFA. So from... From the restaurant's perspective, what is good? I like this uh, way of working because all the restaurants in Göteborg, of course, is big uh, concurrents. Everybody wants to be the best restaurant in Göteborg. But sometimes it's good to, to work together to find good ways to have more people coming to Göteborg. And we want to do it, of course, as a chef, the gastronomic way. Gastronomic is a strategic area for the destination. It's very important because Göteborg is quite small. It's a half a million people living there, and you have everything around the city. You can walk from the hotel to all the arenas. You can walk between the hotels and the restaurants. The city is very small, and that is the good thing for Göteborg. We have working together very long together with the city. Uh, we started when we had the athletics, the World Game of Athletics, 94. And that was the first thing the restaurants do together with the Göteborg and company. 
and we started to make better uh, food solutions and better food for all the people. And then we have every year been a little bit better. So nowadays we work a lot together with the city. They help us to get the journalists to Göteborg, to help the journalists to find the right restaurant. Uh, they help us to, with the marketing. And we have a good work together. So, for us in Göteborg, it's very important for the city, a small city and the second city in Sweden, to have something special for the people coming to us. And as I told you in the beginning, the food, it happens a lot of things around the food and the ingredients in, in Scandinavia today. So we have a lot of more people coming to, to write about the Göteborg and more people coming to try the food and the other parts of the city also. So uh, this way to work together from the association of the restaurants together with the city it has been a good success for Göteborg. Thank you.